Okay. Time to start stop playing games and keep making progress. Oh wait, I'm playing it. What are you doing in investigations? Jesus, don't scare me like that, Winston. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. What? You don't have to talk like I'm a fool. Winston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp. Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. <laughs> you could wrap them around you. I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay. Well, uh, break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Uh -huh. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want to brag. So <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Does he stop? Me, though, I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's course, just gonna talk forever, isn't he? Home for me all the time, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at seven o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She had a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment. She gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm going to have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal times. She's probably going to have to go to the store for more wet food. I'll have to remember to pay her back. Hold on. Let me make a note. Pay back. Maria or Alfred. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Fruit. A ring. Not gonna react? All right. Done. Are you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. You seem like one. I'm personally a cat. Honestly, I could see Jesse as a pet cat person. Or just more of a practical person who doesn't have pets. I'm not sure. Alright, oh, I can't access my uh, weaponry at all right now.
Good to see you, Polaris. Familiar methodologies. I did shift tab. Okay. It didn't seem to actually do anything. Fight off Hartman. Why did it only now give me that achievement? Wrong button. Okay. That works. They deal so much damage. That's my question. Because I didn't really ha like, and also, I understand it's more of my own fault for just trying to spam each, just throw it attacks at these enemies, but also, I was hoping that they would actually hit. Sorry. First well. Seized protection. Well then. Is there a light switch somewhere? That's not a light switch. Hmm. Surely if you don't have, you have to do this in a specific order or anything, right? I can't see anything, but like, I'm trying to think there's something somewhere. Okay, yeah, those are just built into this, built into the house. Oh, there you are. Bright light. Ballistic ground slam boost. Shaded something.
Wrong weapon. Wrong button. Let's switch out Shatter for Grip. Ground Slam damage after weapon hits. Evade cost after weapon kit. Ooh! Oh, it's gone. Probably got destroyed in the- Oh, there it is! Sorry for it being so bright, guys. I will clobber someone with this huge battery, if need be. Really? Really? Arcade cabinets procedures. <sighs> A distance of 10 feet between the items suppress their effects. Effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Items are a pair of arcade game cabinets originally designed for the games Shum AI40A and Shum 2 Kolgar's Revenge AI40B. The games were manufactured by Bonco Entertainment, now out of business. Despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the late 80s, early 90s, no other Shum cabinets have been found by our investigators. When touching one of the items while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart, the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. Events from every their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and effi efficacy are paramount. The brain enters a stroke-like state, as proven by EEG studies on users, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor function. All oh, this reading is going to kill me. Honestly, if I didn't do all that reading, this playthrough would be a lot shorter. Oh! oh shit. Stick to the light. What it oh that was not intentional, but that was perfect at either way. Rather fortunate. Damn it. Oh dear. Well, that's unfortunate.
No, you don't. Who knows what lurks out in the dark? Hi. I'm not having fun fighting you in the dark. Doesn't mean you can't have fun, but still, it's, it's, it's disturbing. It shouldn't be horror. It usually isn't. Uh. Help. You don't. Where do I take that? I don't know where I need to deposit the thing is the problem. Where's the receptacle? not this hard to find, right? <laughs> no, you bloody don't. This place feels like to be a woman walking at night. Because I I was assigned male at birth, so I wouldn't know very well. But gosh darn. Let's give it a shot, let's give it a shot, let's give it a shot. Didn't work, didn't work. Where in the world is it supposed to go? How blinded am I, guys? How blind? I'm not streaming or anything, but like... Where 
Where do I go? Where do you go when your name's not Cotton Eye Joe? Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Actor for hire. Feel free to read this if you want. I think it's just flavor more than anything. And I'm going to leave in three. Actually, no, I'm going to drink some water. Three, two, one. What? I seriously can't see anything about where this might go. Yeah, there's nothing right there. What about Black Hole? I don't know what I'm doing. enough read on my bearings to know where am I supposed to go. Because I... The battery. Do I hurl the battery at him? It'd be nice to actually know what's going on. That way I might actually be able to continue doing 
playing the game, but I'm completely lost. Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? <sighs> A search projectile to a launch object. You can do that? <gasps> yeah, this one, this thing just automatically just flickers out. Nowhere do I see where you're supposed to put a battery. I don't care about your metamorphosis. I just want to see where a battery goes. You know, I have a mostly positive opinion about this game, but, like, this DLC is kind of a mess. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, most of what I'm thinking right now is just in my suffering. You get me out of here, please. Yeah, this area is just completely safe. I don't have to actually worry about it. Yeah, I don't have to worry about anything when I'm right here. More or less. Like... Hello. I know you. I know your mechanics at this point. You think I'm afraid anymore? No, I'm just frustrated. The true nemesis of horror games is frustration. And guess what? I'm at the frustration point. Rude. What do you do? I give up. I'm looking it up. Because I'm just wasting time. Okay. So, this is kind of on me. Maybe. Yep. That's on me. I That was me just being a fool. Where in the world did I put... Where did I leave the battery? That's on me. Because I was just a fool, and I forgot that you can sometimes throw objects through a wall, well, th throw stuff into a wall and through a wall. My apologies, everyone, for being quite so dense.
But I have to tell you, it's something that's easy to forget about when you spend a lot of time not playing the game. And playing like five, six other games. So, please have some understanding that this is not the only game I play, and I was just playing Hollow Knight yesterday. So! Hooray for just slamming your head into a brick wall over and over and not being able to figure it out. So you instead look it up. What can you do with one ability point? Legitimately, what can I do? Oh, I can get, uh, upgrade the Grand Slam, I guess. I mean, I can upgrade launch at some point. That's literally it. That's the only thing that costs... Oh, Ground Slam and Launch. Those are the only two that have a one upgrade. Oh, I guess I accidentally clicked. I didn't realize that clicking that would actually just unlock it permanent. Well, just immediately. Oops. Oops. 